Welcome back y'all to Harmon Homestead. You see this? Half of it got planted today. Check it out. So this year, I completely flipped my garden. I did everything so far, and now again, only half of this is planted, but I flipped sides where everything was, and I also did everything horizontal instead of vertical, okay? I did like a little walkway here going into the garden, because like I said, this is just pasture, okay? Right here, I have the Baker Creek Mazurka, Mazurkia. I can't pronounce this, guys. I've said that before. I do the best I can. I have those zinnias planted here in lines and on the other side as well, okay? Then I've got the jazzy red zinnias. I've got two rows of those over here and then one on this side. And then I just used rock. Guys, if you have a bunch of rock in your garden, use it to your benefit. And on the very edge of the border, I stopped and I planted the mammoth gray striped sunflower from Baker Creek to border each side, okay? On this side, I planted 11 short horizontal rows of Cherokee white eagle corn. I may go back and plant some more of this. I'm not sure. It's not going to give us near what we need, but it's dent corn that I've never planted before. And that's going to be totally new for me. And look, just for each row, use your rocks, okay? It's little borders. On the right-hand side, I have three rows of Roma tomatoes. And guys, again, the rock. If you've got a tomato cage that can't be staked in the ground, see there? I made my trench. I've showed you that on videos before, how to plant tomatoes. Put my cage down in the trench, the tomato plants mounted up, and I used the rock to stabilize the cage. It keeps it nice, neat. Weeds won't grow there where the rocks are. I mean, you'll get weeds, but it, it helps suppress it. So three rows of Roma tomatoes. And then this one, this one's looking rough. He needs to be watered, and I don't know if he's gonna survive. But that is a black creme from Baker Creek. We have the Dr. Wash's Yellow. He looks awesome. Yellow brandy wine. And then two of the Sart Rolawa tomatoes. These, some of these I should have waited a little bit longer to put out and plant, but I was doing all this today and I said, this, this is what we're gonna do. Okay, so to border the tomatoes, going back up towards the top of the garden, I planted the Aricara sunflowers on this side. And let me show you something else here. You can see that these are pretty narrow. It's just enough room to get through here and hoe out weeds, but I made these very wide. In between the three rows of Romas, I planted St. Valerie carrots from Baker Creek. It was a free seed packet and carrots and tomatoes love each other. I've grown carrots in this soil before, this clay soil, so I'm gonna give it a shot. If anything, it, it's just, they're spaced out further. Okay, guys, if they don't germinate. But at the back of all of the romas, the Aricara sunflowers. Then I have one Atkinson and one Amish paste. He's huge, but I did not have great germination on those. So I don't know, it's all just an experiment. Bordering this, I did just a like an L shape. I planted the Baker Creek chocolate cherry sunflowers. Guys, this, this pasture, there's wildflowers everywhere. I know that, but I wanted it to be fun. And then I did, I think, six small, itty bitty short rows of the Purple Prince zinnias. So, pick these seed packets up. I've not grown zinnias since I was a little girl, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see these grow and see what they'll do. So, I stopped right here on the sunflower border, all the way back there, I stopped. I have not planted any of that on the right-hand side. I did put up some trellis here. I tossed around the idea of planting cucumbers and letting them grow up these, but I don't know. 
I just don't know yet. All of this is open. Guys, this is a lot of work. I've been out here since 7 a.m. So there's my last row of corn on the left-hand side. And I did a border with the red sun sunflowers. Just one little, one little thing there. Then I started with my pumpkins. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the Rouge Dontal from Baker Creek pumpkins. They're supposed to look gnarly and orange and just very rustic and very ornamental. So we planted those. And then, so I have three little rows. And look how we, we planted these like um, the print on a domino, like dice. You, three and then two in the middle. Three and then two in the middle. And that's just, that's just what we did. Left a big gap there. And then we started with our Baker Creek Blue Hubbard squash. And we have eight of those as well. Three, two and then three. So all of this is still open. And guys, believe it or not, this is, this is the first planting of the season. We have got a lot of hard work on our hands. But anyways, we're enjoying it. And I love that I left a huge pathway here, right down the center of this pasture. That way you can walk a tiller, you can walk whatever you need, buckets putting vegetables in it hopefully i'll need that um you know I've, I've left this big pathway last year i did not do that and i love having the little flower bed going into this if anything it will help bring the bees down here and pollinate my vegetables